Scientists say a lot of shit, man. Uranus has been demoted. Sorry, ma'am. I don't know if you know this. Thor news is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. Apparently, the royal astronomers have come down from their royal ivory tower to tell us that hundreds of giant centaur comets could kill us all. Giant comets periodically smash Earth, scientists say. Scientists say a lot of shit, man. These large comets called centaurs could pose a risk to Earth, scientists say. Giant comets that originate in the planetary fringes of the solar system pose a greater threat of colliding with Earth than do asteroids, which originate closer to the Sun, scientists say. In the last two decades, scientists have discovered hundreds of giant comets, known as centaurs, in the region near Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. No centaur poses a known immediate threat to Earth, scientists say. But the discovery of this massive population has led a group of astronomers to reassess the threat of these seemingly distant bodies to this planet. Estimates currently suggest that one of these giant comets crosses Earth's orbit on an average only once every 40,000 to 100,000 years. Centaurs are between 31 and 62 miles across and move in unstable orbits. Occasionally, the gravitational influence of one of these planets can send the centaur careening towards Earth. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. In the last three decades, we have invested a lot of effort in tracking and analyzing the risk of a collision between the Earth and asteroid. They have invested a lot of effort in tracking and analyzing the risk of a collision between the Earth and an asteroid. Said Bill Napier, an honorary professor in the Center for Astrobiology at the University of Buckingham in the United Kingdom, in that statement. Napier is first author on a review paper that aims to reassess the threat of centaurs to the Earth. All right, I'll go ahead and do a full disclosure. I am a Sagittarius, so I'm pro centaur. And I have the best girlfriend in the world. And if you feel the same way, that means our girlfriend's tied, so you should be proud. Though mine's way cuter. Though beauty's in the eye of the beholder, so we can tie in that shit too. Our work suggests we need to look beyond our immediate neighborhood too, and look out beyond the orbit of Jupiter. Do we have telescopes that can do that stuff? I mean, I know the Hubble can, but it is so hard to get Hubble time, and they're always looking at boring ass science that nobody wants to talk about unless Star Wars is about to come out, and then they're gonna find some lightsaber galaxy, the Hubble. You know, it's like, why don't they turn the Hubble on Catalina? That comet is totally badass. Well, I don't care, because every time the Hubble shoots a comet, it's always this boring ass looking thing that looks nothing like the amateur astronomer's photograph. Anyway, I'm just freaking out, because these centaurs could kill us all tomorrow. Asterisk, by tomorrow I mean the next 100,000 years. You know, math. It's fun to play with. Math and metaphor. That's how I got pregnant. True story. And by pregnant, I just mean with ideas and crazy thoughts. You know, I mean, I mean, I guarantee you, if I as a man were pregnant, I would have my own reality show, and I would have won my Caitlyn Jenner Mother of the Year award by now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think I instantly would have won President of the United States. Man, you know, I was on vacation for like a week, and I worked the whole time, but not Thor News. And I guess I'm just not on my game again. Or whatever. Fucking A, I'm at the top of my game. Don't make me kick you in your giblets, Jello boy I didn't mean to call you Jello boy I mean, I'm sure Jello boys a nice guy. He never does anything wrong to people. I mean, he's Jello boy You know, you can't have a name like that and be an asshole. Asshole Jello boy The statement said that known severe upsets of Earth's environment accompanied by a disruption in how ancient civilizations evolved, meaning that a centaur must have been in Earth's neighborhood roughly 30,000 years ago. What about aliens? Uh, it seems kind of shoddy. You know, like a lot of stuff could have caused disruptions in ancient civilizations. And evolution. Anyway, whatever. Let these guys cast their checks and get all the astronomy groupies. That was fucking creepy. What was I doing? I was talking. I do that a lot. Sometimes way too much. Where I leave off? The Harvard Concert is a dumb article. But it's fascinating. It's fascinating science. Up your butt, Joe Boo. This centaur would have shed clumps. You can't shed clumps, man. You can shed hair. You can shed skin. You can't shed limbs. You know what I'm saying? You can't shed clumps. You can keep clumps in a shed, though. This centaur would have shed clumps of debris ranging from fine dust to pieces several miles in diameter, some of which hit Earth. Sure, yeah, whatever. Right before the dark matter deluge, the researchers point to the existence of many sub-millimeter craters in rocks brought back from the moon by Apollo astronauts. 
Because the moon has no geological activity or atmosphere. Wait, that's bullshit, man. The moon has a little bit of an atmosphere. They said that the other day. Howl, is this why you blocked me on Twitter? Because I correct your mistakes. That's okay, man. I mean, holy shit. I forget that. That nowadays is called mansplaining. You can get arrested for that. I love it when you mansplain to me. I love you. Told you guys. I had the best girlfriend ever. Craters are better preserved on its surface. Since the craters were mostly 30,000 years old or younger, it suggests an influx of dust in the solar system after that time period. Other environmental disruptions in 10,000 BC and 2,300 BC suggest centaurs could have been responsible for changes in the Earth at those times. Could have been. Whatever. I don't know. Barack Obama and George W. Bush could have been great presidents. My Johnson Space Center could have been twice as big. Michael Jackson could have been an alien. Everything you knew before now about Venus could have been a total lie. See, could have been in May are usually the words that scientists say. That is probably too hard truth for you. Wait, no. You stayed this long on a Thor News video? You are a pro. And you know to be skeptical. But not angry, man, because these days we're all dumbasses. Asterisk? Well, no, I'm in a weird mood. But I still love you. Okay, great. Let's see what type of genius comments this article has. Oh. Why would Elizabeth Howe block me? Really, like, you're a reporter lady. You know? Maybe we should be focusing on the size that we could do something about. Sure, I heard this one 23 years ago. 1992, quarterback one was discovered. Wow. It will definitely happen in the next 10,000 years. Did you hear that, people? The danger of getting hit is 100% on a long enough timeline, says Mike. Dust shot. Yeah, well, on a long enough timeline, we all die, Mike. So, try not to be such a downer. Store news is about going up, baby. All right. Great. I hope somebody enjoyed this. Peace out. Space underwear in your Thor news. Is the record holder for Stellar Cool. Doom, 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 ba doom, ba doom. Doom, 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 wah. Sweet. God bless everybody. Captain Happy Comet Ice and Cupcakes, baby. Space underwear in your face. This is so amazingly cool. It ranks right up there with constant pictures of Mars dirt. It's like, stop wasting energy on dumb shit, dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? That's my Thor News advice. I love you. You're amazing. You're beautiful. You're so cute. Yeah, so scientists say a lot of shit, man. 